Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's show, we are continuing the race car build. Let's go. Our first task is to take off the mounting brackets. We'll put those aside. Let's take out the ESC. Oh man. Some Superman must have put this in here. You little pig. Just that easy, just that quick. Take our little servo cable off. I have no idea how this comes out. I don't see any screws. Looks like it gets a reprieve. <laughs> Let's see if our platform fits. Hooray, it does. Okay, let's put some bullet connectors on the VESC. First thing we'll do is tin up these wires Now we will prepare the bullet connectors. Let them cool down for a few seconds. It's time to mount the standoffs into the platform. Let's line this up, make sure we put them in the right place. The holes are sized so that the standoffs will self tap directly into the platform. These are quarter inch aluminum standoffs. Do not over tighten these as they will break off and they are hard to get out. Don't ask me how I know that. And then there are four up here for the IMU. Okay, 
Let's see if we got lucky. Huh, we did. Excellent. Now we're ready to mount the USB hub. Let's take the wrappers off it. Okay, let's flip this baby over. That's about where we want it, I think. Three M dual lock reclosable fastener. You know I like my clickies. Well, let's try it with an inch or so. A little bit of overkill for this baby, but That'll work. One doggy. Two doggy. Put that on here first. That should be good. That looks good. Okay, now we're ready to attach it. So it's on there pretty nicely. Make sure this is on all the way. Click. One down. Now we're ready for the vest. Well, let's have a go of mounting this with the double click tape. The adhesive on the back of the double click is supposed to hold up to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Hopefully our vest does not get hotter than that. That's probably too much, but don't really want it going anywhere either. Click. There we go. That's on there. Let's see how this looks on the car. Okay, here's the chassis. One of the things that you can see immediately is that the VESC is away from the motor wires. So we need to unhook this and reroute these wires. We'll fold this back under to connect with the battery. The servo wire goes here. You can see that we'll have a little bit of cable management to deal with.
Okay, those are loose. You have a 50-50 chance of guessing which one is which here when we start the motor up. We'll figure out which is which. And then we'll put some shrink wrap on these wires. This goes back to the battery. We need some cable management. Let's screw the platform down. We mount the platform with some M3 screws. And let's dry fit the Jetson on here. I need to pick up some nylon washers, but for now, we'll just throw it on here. Okay. So I'm curious as to how the top platform fits onto here. Why don't we try that? Dry fit that. We have some one and three quarter inch standoffs. Uh, this looks like this is a pretty tight fit. There's not much clearance between the top of this heat sink and fan to the bottom of the platform, but I guess there doesn't need to be. Next up, we'll do some wiring and we'll start working on the top platform. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.